What is going on you guys? It's Extreme here and welcome back to another episode of Raiders Strike. A series I do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you're new around here and you enjoy this series, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help me out, you could like, favorite, or share this video with your friends over social media. I would appreciate it if you did. It does help me out a lot when you do. Now, today's episode, I've got a bunch of different things I want to talk about, specifically relating to Destiny. One of them, eh, kind of, sort of, but uh, another. most of them relate directly to Destiny because it's fucking, what is it now? It's Wednesday. January 21st, 2015, later today, actually by the time this video goes live, um, the hard mode of Crotas and should have been released and yours truly either will have already started my run of the hard mode or will be doing a run of the hard mode sometime today. I will be filming the entire thing and it will go up as next week's episode. In fact, I may have to extend next week's episode just to compensate for all the bad shit that may come up while doing that raid. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited for it. And I'm also a little nervous because there's a lot of speculation as to what they will change. I, I, a couple guys in my clan were making the comment that supposedly the weight of darkness is going to get increased. I'll be honest with you, I don't see that being a thing. And the reason I say that is because really there, there's no real tweaking to the hard mode um, that would make it, they're kind of making, trying to make it balanced so that it's still accomplishable at the level they've set it at, but it's still challenging and far more rewarding than it currently is. And that's understandable, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It doesn't, that doesn't bother me in any way, shape, or form. What does bother me is that there's a lot of speculation as to what the hard mode is going to entail. Now, I am honestly curious if running the Hunters Don't Touch Me gauntlets will get you through the lamps. So, because that's how I do it now. When I play with my hunter, I throw on those gauntlets and I run through the lamps. Doesn't take much effort. And I'm wondering if that's going to translate going into hard mode. Now, in this gameplay, by the way, I am kind of playing very, like, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Um, at this point, I was trying very hard to get a Gallahorn. Yeah. As you probably can already tell, my, my attempts were in vain. And I'm kind of just like, fuck it, I'm going to let these guys do all the work. And then I see this asshole gets a legendary anger, and I'm like, god damn it, now I have to do some work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, but I, I'm really excited for the hard mode. I, I've been wanting this to come out already, and I want the challenge. And now that I have a raid team, and I'm part of a clan, and a lot of guys that are really fun to play with, some of them can be a little frustrating. <laughs> But ultimately, it's fun, and that's the idea. Speaking of my clan, the founder of my clan has made it clear to me and other members of the clan multiple times that he wants to expand, he wants to grow the clan. So, I'm going to take advantage of my position here on YouTube, and I'm going to let you guys know if you are interested in joining. In order to join, you first have to get in touch with someone in our clan. You have to play with us at least once or twice. At least that's how I figure they want it to be they don't want just random individuals you know going to the clan page and saying i want to join um but if that's the case and you're interested in joining a clan and having a group of people you can play the game with do activities with be it the raid nightfall weekly heroic strikes whatever here's what you do send myself a friend request send me a friend request or send me a message saying you would like to join the clan I will then in turn direct you to individuals you need to talk to. We'll go from there. Um, I don't know if I should be doing this, but I figured, fuck it. He's made it clear he wants to grow. And if I can help him out in any way, shape or form, I'm gonna do that, you know? And, and I like playing with these guys. They're, they're a lot of fun, except for 
Well, one little issue. And I'm not going to say anything specific or name anyone's name, but there was a conversation that took place yesterday, and it was really kind of frustrating to sit there and listen to it. And the individual that was talking and having issues was bitching and harping about someone else in the clan. And I thought, what the fuck? Are you serious? We're acting like two-year-olds? Like, come on. I thought we were, like, you know, I know some of the guys in the clan are, you know, not 18. But I thought we were all more or less mature and adults to some degree. And the individual giving shit is giving shit about someone who, to the best of my knowledge, is a teenager. And the guy giving the shit is actually a grown adult with a family He's got kids, he's got all this shit, and I'm like, this is, this is an issue for you, like, really, you have all this shit going on in your life, and this is a serious problem, dude, you need to get your fucking priorities checked, like, seriously, seriously, like, I don't know why, it, did, it actually bugged me that he was harping about this one individual simply due to the fact that an incident happened or something. I don't know what happened. I really don't. I, I really don't have a place to talk about it. But I just think it's fucking pathetic that here's a guy who has some authority within our group who's bitching and complaining and whining and crying about petty shit. Really? This is like, this is, like, oh my God. So it's really frustrating, rather annoying. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I wish I could do without the crap, you know, I, like that, I wish, because it kind of ruined my mood, like, I was in a really good mood, and then hearing that, I'm all, this, this, really, this is how I'm going to start the day, god damn it, luckily things changed, and things got better rather quickly, did a couple runs of the raid, uh, I actually got very fortunate in, uh, I, <laughs> I got the Hawk Moon. And I got the Thunderlord. Two exotics I did need, but I've said this multiple times. I didn't really want them. <laughs> the only two exotics I really want right now are the Red Death and the Galahorn. And I can't seem to get either one of them. I hope Zur will be selling them later this week. But god damn it, man. Like the, the reason I was kind of pissed that I got the Hawkmoon is my clan's leader, the founder, he wants that gun very badly. <laughs> and uh I'm afraid he's going to be pissed at me. <laughs> it was, I'm sitting there going, God damn it, I'm going to break this shit down. Everyone in my, my group was like, don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. And I'm all, I really think I should. <laughs> I don't want to get yelled at. Oh, man, it was fun, though. I really enjoy playing with these guys, man. And I can't wait to show you guys the, the hard mode. Now, I haven't talked to these guys yet about doing this. But, uh... I would at some point like to do a live commentary with them just so you guys could hear some of the shit they say. The only problem is I tend to be very quiet because they'll have random conversations about things and I'm, you know, I'm, I literally just joined the group last week. So there's a lot of shit I don't know about. And that's why, you know, yes, I made mention of this issue that happened yesterday. But the only reason I make mention of it, just to clarify, is because, again, I'm not a young guy and this individual that was bitching and complaining was obviously not a young guy as well he's got real world problems and he's bitching about something petty and stupid and it just that kind of shit bothers me yes i'm being a douche right here because well for some reason i was just like fuck it I i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna fucking be one of those guys that just sits there and does nothing except i didn't really do much i, I did more than i sh i wanted to in this run but uh it was so fucking boring doing nothing i couldn't do it I, I couldn't i had to shoot something i'm serious like i can't i can't know how people can just literally fucking turn on their game and walk away and just okay i'll get some free rewards oh they kill me it don't matter i'm not trying to do it flawless oh i got some cool sweet fucking hate assholes to do that shit man and I try to do it, and I, I just I can't, I can't, I can't. I gotta shoot something, man. I have a gun in my hands, you know? I, I mean, I'm sitting here watching this no less, and it's like, this is pathetic. <laughs> you know, there's a level 32 using a thorn on Separus Prime. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, you're not gonna do shit to this guy. 
anyways. So yeah, that's today's episode. Um, I can't wait for hard mode to come out. I will be looking forward to that. And yes, next week's episodes will all be about hard mode Crota. I will be filming it, so stay tuned. That is coming. I will show you guys my very first attempt ever doing it. Uh, I don't know if the members of my clan will also be their first attempt. We shall see. But thank you guys for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for another one. Until next time, adios. What is going on, you guys? It's Extreme here, and welcome back to another episode of Raiders Strike, a series I do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. If you're new around here and you enjoy this series, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help me out, you could like, favorite, or share this video with your friends over social media. I would appreciate it if you did. It does help me out a lot when you do. Now, Today's episode, I've got a bunch of different things I want to...